So let's talk about polar and nonpolar. What is the difference in polar and nonpolar bonds? So first off, ionic bonds are typically between a metal and a nonmetal. They're above 2.0. We're not going to talk about those. Electrons are transferred there. We're going to talk about polar and nonpolar. So we're talking about covalent bonds. Electrons, a pair of electrons, that's shared in our covalent bond here. So if we look at the electronegativity difference between the atoms here, we can tell whether we have a polar or nonpolar molecule. And electronegativity is how strongly the electrons shared in this bond are attracted. So over here, chlorine is more electronegative. So the electrons spend more time around the chlorine. We get a negative side and a positive side, partial negative, partial positive. That makes this polar. And we can even look up the electronegativity. So chlorine is right here and hydrogen right here. So 3.16 minus 2.20, that's 0 0.96. That means this is polar covalent. And the electrons in this bond, they're going to spend a little more time with the chlorine. That'll make it negative. That'll give it a pole. With the hydrogen, they're both hydrogen. There's no difference. And that would mean that we have no difference in electronegativity, nonpolar covalent. And these numbers, they're general. They may be different slightly in different textbooks. And we can have nonpolar compounds that have a difference in electronegativity, but just in general, we call them nonpolar if it's less than 0.5. One last thing. We can't have molecules where we have a polar bond. These bonds are all polar covalent bonds, but because they're all pointing in opposite directions like this, their dipoles cancel out. And overall, the molecule is nonpolar, and that's because it's symmetrical, but the bonds themselves are polar. So it is possible to have polar bonds, but a nonpolar molecule. Take a look at my video on polar and nonpolar molecules if you need more help with that. So the big thing to remember, difference in electronegativity between 0.5 and 2.0, we're going to have a covalent bond. And when we look at that, the electrons in that bond will spend more time with the electronegative element. We'll end up with a partial negative charge here, partial positive on this side. It's Dr. B looking at polar versus nonpolar. Thanks for watching.